Gustavo Batista uh, closed out last year. So hitting the podium as well. Both these guys, incredible technicians. And this middle heavyweight division was an absolute pick -em. You had a stacked division. And the podium actually turned out a little bit differently than we were expecting. Uh, you know, the semi-finals, we didn't see Lucas Hulk, we didn't see Hudson Mateus. Wow. Yeah. But we Pena. did we did mark out both Pena and Gustavo Batista yeah. as uh, as potential finalists, and of course they, they made it, so Pena on a nice little shot there. And they go out of bounds. Well, we know he has wrestling. Mm -hmm. We've seen that from the, his uh, his performances in the uh, various ADCC tournaments yeah. that he's won. Nice to see him using a little bit of it in the gi as well. And there's that little scissor sweep that Batista tries, except he, could, he didn't have the, the push out of the leg. Ooh. Oh, and this is good. See, Felipe Pena, he has near magical back taking yes, abilities. It almost doesn't seem to matter the position. He has some kind of path to the the back. It really is a, a, a just a, it's mind blowing actually how he does it. And I've watched him train in a room full of world class back belts and just take the back of every <laughs> single one of them, one after one. But. Not an easy task to do so against somebody like Gustavo Batista, who recovering from that position very easily and uh, getting back into somewhere a little bit more comfortable. Slowing down a little bit here, stuck in this position. Mm -hmm. the, uh, kind of a loose 50-50. Yeah. It's, um, see Felipe Pena keeping his, his hips as far away as he can. It's a good chance that he might be looking to, again, dive through to the back. But with that lapel grip that Batista seems to have there, do you think that's going to stop him, Sean? Yeah, that's uh, that grip with the overwrap. <laughs> He's got an overwrap of the leg with the lapel. It's not going to allow him to turn back this way, and it's going to keep that knee well inside the 50-50. So Batista trying to get his leg free. <laughs> hey, we got a wave going on, Howell. That's All what right. I'm talking about. Everybody in unison here. Fred having some fun. We That's... got a little bit of a uh, Mexican wave going on. Woo! Telling you. Here, Batista's almost got the knee free. He had a very nice sweep. Nothing brings the crowd together like a good wave. And see, man, people say in Southern California there's no big waves. <laughs> Look at that. There you go. Anyway, right here in 50-50 still, Batista had a really nice sweep. Felipe, though, very comfortable himself in the 50-50. Let's see the strategy he employs here, whether he Looks to try to extract his leg, which right now it looks like he will. And he's got a grip of the sleeve on Batista, trying to make that back hook. So trying to get that knee down and out. That two points for Batista at this point now, about halfway through in this match. The only points on the board so far. No advantages, nothing. Felipe 
trying to get an angle and get that foot out at the same time. There he's almost got, there he's got the knee out. See, the legs are really twisted together here now. Batista almost has to turn, yep, just to save his own leg there. Solid reversal there from Isaac, by, uh, excuse me, from uh, Felipe Pena. Got uh, too many competitors on my mind. Man, <laughs> it's easy to do on a weekend like this. Oh, so much good jujitsu wow. this weekend, Sean. So we're uh, three minutes into the, sorry, three seconds into the second half of this match here. And Gustavo Batista in the white gi on bottom. Sleepy Pena in the blue. Got this scoop grip of Loop's leg, Batista, and there's gonna be a big fight. He's gonna wanna keep that leg in there and then go get that far sleeve. He's trying to push out the leg there, but Philippe very long. Now, if he can hook in and lasso under the hamstring, there he's off balance. As you say, he could almost have a, a bear trap style leg position to off balance Philippe. But there, you see how he's trying to get that hook behind the knee. And th there's a good Ooh, shot of how, but you see how Batista just like came up. Like just, <laughs> he just rose up like a vampire stands up straight. Like, it's almost like well, no effort. Yeah. Just, and, yeah. and meanwhile, Fleep's lifting his leg up. Yeah. And it's just like, I've got my legs are megatons <laughs> and I'm standing up. And it's just, it looks, made it look so easy. That's, it does. that's really not it really easy. Does. I mean, he's sweating, but from his face, you wouldn't know that he's even in a fight. Really. Uh, yeah. It's incredible. Four minutes remaining, 2 2. Pena pulls. See what he can do from the bottom here. He's got that lasso on the far side. Yeah. Off balancing to the left. He's a potential option here with that lasso and now the, the grip of the leg. See if he puts that right foot over. Now he can crowbar a little bit to the left. But you see but Batista's weight is way off to the right oh, yeah. to anticipate that. There it is anyway. Nice. Scooping up that leg. Leap might really try to push out that far knee with the left leg. And again, this is really somewhat reminiscent of How he swept the first time. Pull him back into the center once more. Trying to create an angle. Go all the way under and create that sweep to the far side. All right for Philippe. This is how he swept him on the first time. It almost had no choice but to roll. The pressure on the knee, which you gotta be careful when you have that leg on the inside like that. Give up the knee bar? Yeah, you give up a knee bar or a toe hold. When the bear trap is locked like on the inside. Who's going to come out to the back first in this yeah. position? Yeah, that, that inside bear trap you have to be really cautious of. Give your own leg up. Oh, man, referee, come on, sort the pants out, Oof. please. We don't, nobody Oof. needs to see that. <laughs> oh, come on, ref. <laughs> <laughs> They're just so scrambled out. Batista 
look at that wacky knee position that he has. Yeah. You know, that, 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 that's twisted. definitely not fun. And it seems strange that they allow this position, but they don't allow reaping. Yeah, the right. Position the torque know, and the knee is so similar. Torque in the knee left and right there. Trying to push out the leg oh, as he did. Oh, there we were talking about it earlier. This is such a good position for Batista. Yes, yeah, he. That's there a, it is. Yep. Hits that little sweep. Kicks away the far leg. So good at catching yep. people off with balance with that. Really, even to score four points apiece. Less than a minute remaining in this match. Leap inverting now. You got a knee bar potentially. Maybe it goes on it. He'll an advantage, but nope. Batista trying to free his leg. Comes up into reverse mount ish. Oh, here oh. we go, here we go. Now, this isn't going to count, though, because even though Felipe has come up, he's in a toe hold, so he's not going to count. The sweep is not going to count. And he could get an advantage for the toe hold. Time running out. Three, two, one. Let's see. Four points apiece. Yep, so the they advantage. may each get an yes, advantage. Yes, advantage for Batista, and then yet an advantage for Pena. Score is tied. Go to a decision. Whoa. So tight now. I don't know how they're going to the call this. The Baja though. guys are actually saying that it should have been two points for forcing but, Batista to turtle, but as you said, no, he didn't let go. Because he was in the toe hold, and you do not no score two yep. unless yep. that is escaped. Unanimous Philippe. Wow, there it is. Felipe Pena does it again. Well, heartfelt moment there for Felipe Pena, who, after 2018 winning in the heavyweight division, 2019 dropped down to medium heavy and takes the gold medal over Gustavo Batista. And the champion, presenting Gracie Baja, Felipe Pena. Your winner, Felipe Pena, becomes a two-time IBJJF.